The Life and Sad Ending of William Demarest Carl William Demarest was born on February 27, 1892, in St. Paul, Minnesota, the son of Samuel and Wilhelmina Demarest. They moved to Newbridge, a hamlet in Bergen County, New Jersey, during his infancy. Demarest served in the United States Army during World War I. He started in show business working in vaudeville, appearing with his wife Estelle Collette as Demarest and Collette. Then they moved on to Broadway. Demarest worked regularly with director Preston Sturges, becoming part of a stock troupe of actors that Sturges repeatedly cast in his films. He appeared in ten films written by Sturges, eight of which were under his direction, including The Lady Eve, Sullivan's Travels, 1941, and The Miracle of Morgan's Creek, 1943. Demarest was such a familiar figure in the Paramount studio that just his name was used in a movie, Sunset Boulevard, as a potential star for William Holden's unsold baseball screenplay. Demarest received a single Academy Award nomination for his supporting role in The Jolson Story, 1946, playing Al Jolson's fictional mentor. He had previously shared the screen with the real Al Jolson in The Jazz Singer. Then, Demarest appeared with veteran Western film star Roscoe Eights in the 1958 episode and the Desert Shall Blossom of CBS's Alfred Hitchcock Presents. In the storyline, Eights and Demarest appear as old-timers living in the Nevada desert. The local sheriff, played by Ben Johnson, appears with an eviction notice, but he agrees to let the pair stay on the property if they can make a dead rose bush bloom within the next month. In 1959, Demarest was named the lead actor of the 18-week sitcom Love and Marriage on NBC in the 1959-1960 season. Demarest played William Harris, the owner of a failing music company who refuses to handle popular rock and roll music, which presumably might save the firm from bankruptcy. Joining Demarest on the series were Gene Ball, Murray Hamilton, and Stubby Kay. He played folksy Jeb Gain, an occasional sidekick to the main character, in the 1961-62 season of the Western series Tales of Wells Fargo. Demarest appeared as police chief Aloysius in the Santa Rosita Police Department in the film It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, released in 1963, as well as on memorable episode What's in the Box of Rod Serling's The Twilight Zone as a henpecked husband driven to the murder of his wife. His most famous television role was in the ABC and then CBS sitcom My Three Sons from 1965 to 1972, playing Uncle Charlie O'Casey. He replaced William Frawley, whose failing health and had made procuring insurance impossible. Demarest had worked with Fred McMurray previously in the films Hands Across the Table, 1935, Pardon My Past, 1945, and Our Merry Way, 1948, and The Far Horizons, 1959, and was a personal friend of McMurray. Demarest received an Emmy nomination for the 1968-69 season of My Three Sons as Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Role. He has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contributions to motion pictures, bestowed upon him August 8, 1979, by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. In 1998, a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs, California Walk of Stars was dedicated to him. In his personal life, Demarest was married twice. His first wife was his vaudeville partner, Estelle Collette, born Esther Zitschlin. Demarest helped raise her daughter, author Phyllis Gordon Demarest, from her earlier marriage. Demarest's second wife was Lucille Thayer, born Lucille Thurer. They married in 1939 and remained together until his death. Her activism on health issues in the motion picture industry on October 1960 was named California Lay Chairman of the ANA Fundraising Campaign. Sadly, on December 27, 1983, 
Demarest died in Palm Springs, California, 91 years old, and at the time of his death, he was suffering from prostate cancer and pneumonia. He was interred in Glendale's Forest Lawn Memorial Park.